Hello Aries, welcome to your weekly horoscope reading. Welcome to my channel, Wing Spiritual Clarity. My name's Wendy Wing. So Aries, I'm tuning into this week's energy, seeing what divine messages of guidance come through for you, what you need to know right now, what your guides and angels want you to hear to help you navigate your journey. So with those intentions, Aries, this is a uh, collective reading. I'm tuning in to whoever is out there listening whenever they're out there listening. So take what resonates and leave the rest. Aries, you have the four of cups. Someone's not accepting a, an, a love offer. I'm not interested. This isn't what I want. This isn't, this isn't, this isn't what I asked for. There's a disappointment here. Someone offering a cup of love or an opportunity here and somehow there's, I'm not going to take this. It feels like when you were um, disconnected in the past, you weren't really feeling yourself. You weren't feeling like yourself. You weren't kind of in control. You weren't aligned. You were in a, a trying to get out of a, a grieving situation, healing a grieving heart. I could see why it's difficult to, when you're grieving, when you're trying to heal your heart space, it's hard to accept a, a new opportunity. Feels like there could be part of the reason why you didn't accept this, um, this love offering, this cup, was because um, someone they were working with Someone they were attached to, someone they're connected with. Feels like I like you, but I don't like who you're connected with. And if I if I connect with you, if I work with you, I'm uh, um, like they were associated with someone that you didn't want to work with or you don't work with. So it feels complicated why it feels like part of you didn't want to accept this cup, but part of you was just in this real healing space and uh, questioning the stability of moving forward with this connection. It didn't feel like it didn't feel the right time. There's um, boy, my throat chakra. I feel like that's the grief, like there's something unsaid. There's so much left unsaid. Uh, it looks like you you wanted to come out of an, a period of isolation. You were trying to come out. You were, boy, this is so complicated. Very complicated. Let's move on. See if we get some clarity for you, Aries. All right, Aries, in present energy, we have the Ten of Swords in reverse. This is coming out of a very painful cycle. You're, you're ending a painful cycle. I'm hearing self-betrayal, that that's the, the root cause of this is self-betrayal. And because of uh, self-betrayal, your reflection, people have been showing up being very cruel and mean. Looks like you, you're, you've learned a lot about what you want, asking for what you want, not settling. All right, so you're ending a painful cycle right now, Aries. What else do we need to know? Someone's coming in with some messages. 
they might want to communicate about a, a painful period of time, maybe the past. It feels like someone's coming in. I've got a lot to say. Wow. I've got a lot to say. I want to tell you about um, a situation where it feels like this person's ending a cycle, not only maybe a painful cycle, but where there was a lack of love a lack of lasting love. Wow. Yes, I said this person also is um, ending a painful cycle. Yes, Ten of Swords in reverse again. Very painful cycle. So uh, this person, self-betrayal, it looks like you both um, are have are ending cycles, very painful cycles. Boy, there's a lot. I feel like you're really going to hear this person out. I feel like there's a lot of communication, very healing communication coming in. You're really, I mean, you're really hearing this person and there's something very healing. I keep saying healing. There's something very healing about seeing this different perspective. I think, I think what I'm getting here, you really like how this person perceives things. It's inspiring. It gets you out of uh, a mental mindset, some type of trap that you've been in. And um, there's also a lot of passion in this connection, excitement, desire. It's like uh, this. there's something here. There's an attraction here. There's also, yeah, there's also... Something here feels like this person wants to talk about or there's also someone else in the picture. Maybe this is who they were connected with, the heartbreak, the ten of cups in reverse. Someone they thought, they thought some, they're getting over someone who, like a codependency, dependency, toxic obsession energy someone who uses cords and uses their sexuality to get people to do what they want uses their attraction to use people to get what they want yeah it looks like Interesting. In the past, it, um, it feels like you weren't interested. It's complex. I get there's something that made it impossible to accept this energy in the past, but it looks like you are accepting them. You are willing to um, explore this. You're not you're not saying you're not saying no. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you're going to take action towards this. Um, it does feel fiery. I can see why you're interested. This is very fiery. It's hitting all the right notes. <laughs> all right. Uh, your higher self is in Ten of Wands. You're at the end. You're completing a lot of cycles painful cycles, um, lack of love cycles, lack of energy, lack of passion cycles, being overwhelmed with doing too much, carrying too much of the burden. I'm also getting that something is like harvest. Something is coming to completion that you've been waiting for.
there's something you're releasing burdens around reckless activity in the past where you've been reckless in the past where you've been reckless in the past looking for love in all the wrong places <laughs> is what I'm getting looking for love and all the wrong things I, you're there's something about you're no longer having to look you don't have to be reckless there's some secret there's something really there's some secret that's been burdening you that makes you react and respond recklessly in the past yeah recklessly and and not in your own best interest it it looks like you have periods of time where you when you're feeling overwhelmed and overburdened when someone puts their projections onto you projects a story how they're perceiving you in a very strong way you're ending that cycle of having others project onto you there's something about these projections that creates a recklessness like you're you're trying to rebel against the projections i'm not my i'm not my projections A lot there's a lot of misinformation that you're clearing around how you've tried to rebel against these projections I am not my projections and so it, it creates like reckless behavior there are times in your life where you have you've really um, created yeah reckless activity not not good negative karma unwanted karma where you acted in a way that was not loving towards yourself and uh, maybe others so you're you're releasing this type of activity by no longer projecting oh because at the heart of it you are you're no longer going to project onto others it feels like um you've learned this lesson you know let live and let live if they're not a match for you move on but you're not going to like project your difficulties with someone uh, it's like a smear campaign or pr negative pr trying to smear smear others take others down someone feeling betrayed and wounded and uh, it looks like as you no longer participate in this activity then you are no longer susceptible to having others project their stuff onto you you might be releasing moving through some unwanted karma around this that's uncomfortable maybe you projected onto others smear campaign type of things you felt validated you felt justified doesn't matter what you put out comes back do you like it being on the receiving end okay oh um yeah uh it looks like you are also ooh well you're releasing um giving giving your power away to someone else you're no longer giving your power away you're feeling confident and stable you're not willing to sacrifice who you are your values because the, uh there's an entitlement to 
into others energy here feels like you might be clearing that as well where you feel um where there are toxic energetic exchanges for money maybe where you you sell a bit of your soul for money i'll just leave that there you can translate that any way you want or leave it all right aries your challenge this week is the seven of cups your challenge is that you have options. I feel like you don't believe you have options. Yeah, I feel like you are feeling insecure. There's a financial component here. It's like uh, there's a belief like I don't, there's no one out there for me. I think you're that's that is your challenge is your mindset if you really are like there's no one out there for me there's no soulmate i don't have options everybody who's is just greedy and looking for sex or looking for money or manipulation if that those are your beliefs then yeah you're right that's that will become your reality so watch what your beliefs are do you like your beliefs do your beliefs serve you all right, moving on, Aries, we have what's hidden is the Ace of Swords in reverse, a lack of clarity. There's a lack of clarity, a lack of truth, a lack of clear seeing. This is causing a lot of confusion. Hard to see the reality of what's going on here. There's a lot, there's a lack of clarity around an opportunity. A lack of truthfulness around this tangible opportunity it doesn't look like it's something that you want to move forward with I feel like that might be what's hidden you see something about an opportunity someone's giving you and for some of you wow this is specific it might be around a car like you get a car there's something wrong with this though something's not something's not right and I feel you're getting that there's lies there's manipulation there's a lack of clarity here it's very confusing you get this opportunity some tangible opportunity but it, it doesn't make you happy you don't want to move forward Wow. All right. Specific and general at the same time. All right, Aries. Your opportunity this week is the Nine of Wands in reverse. Letting your guard down. Letting your guard down, not, not being so defensive. There's an opportunity if you are willing to be open. A lot of communication coming in wow that's very soul personally soul fulfilling oh you love this this is this is good there's a great opportunity here for you it looks like you've got the inner strength you've been working on your inner strength you, you're very clear about this opportunity Something's out of balance here. And yet you're still very clear. This is I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm curious in the least. Feels like there's a big attraction here, but you might be trying to like play it cool. Something's out of balance. It feels like um feels like there's something out of balance with this person something that they they're needing to transmute and it looks like you can help them move to calmer waters there's something that 
feels like they're they're judging something. It, it get, they're trying to release a burden. And they're they're unable to really move forward and strategize because there's something. This feels very spiritual. It feels like you might help someone where they're stuck, where they're unable to move forward. Yeah, and it might be around their finances, their passion and finances. So looks like you might be helping someone. And it's a very soul fulfilling for you. So you might be helping clear some of your karma with someone from a past life. Wow, very interesting. All right, Aries. Moving on to the possible outcome this week, we've got the King of Cups in reverse. Someone is emotionally overwhelmed, not able to really deal with their emotions. What do we need to know about this energy? Yeah, they feel abandoned. They feel left out. They're manifesting from a dark space because you're not moving forward with them and they don't feel like they have any other options to find love love someone someone's in their feels someone's in their ego but they're overwhelmed with feelings they don't like that you it feels like you you tweaked their ego for some of you, this person had feels. They didn't realize they had the feels for you. And it feels like you are you cut it off with this person or you've iced them out or you've just, they, they're feeling rejected. Doesn't matter what you did, they are perceiving rejection is not, they're not taking this well. They want to manifest. Oh, they don't want you to be able to move forward. They don't want you to have other options and they don't want you to have uh, loving connections with anyone else. So um, this is not someone who has access to conditional love. They love very conditional based on if you do what they say, if you make them feel good. It's, a, it's about how they feel. It's very self-serving type of energy. And then it's very punishing. You didn't do what I say. I, you, you're not making me happy. And that makes me very punishing. That activates a, a kind of cursing others. This is someone who curses someone. Um, I feel you're protected from this. This feels like psychic attack. This is someone who projects. And that's what you're clearing, projection energy. So the outcome is you have someone projecting their stuff onto you, but now you that's what this reading is about. Others who project their limitations, their unresolved, unhealed stuff onto you, but you've already, that's what this reading's about. You're ending that cycle. You're no longer projecting back. You're no longer in vengeance. And so it, it doesn't work. The curse doesn't work. The courting doesn't work. Your vibration is too high for these type of activities. Wow. Yay. As long as you move forward, don't don't retaliate, don't join back in. It's an ego game. Wow. All right, Aries, that's your reading. Um, if this resonated, hit that like button. Where is it? It's right here. Hit that like button. And if you haven't already, hit the follow or the, what is it, subscribe button. Uh, so you can get more of these readings in your feed. I do the weekly Zodiac readings and I do the daily collective reading. So you can have a daily 
tune up if you need. And then on the weekends, the daily readings are a business and finance reading and a love reading. So, all right, Aries, that's what's up. Take care. Bye.